Hi. Hello. How's it going? Time for a new weekly reading vlog. Are y'all ready? Hey everyone, welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. I wanted to give you some reading updates because I have made progress in books that I'm reading. That's a bone Phoenix is chewing on. Please ignore it. Okay, thanks. So, I have started Lothair by Cressley Cole. This is a paranormal romance in the Immortals After Dark series. Our heroine is from freaking Appalachia. She's from Appalachia. And she's done well. <laughs> I can scream. I love Ellie so much already. She's literally from like the hills of Appalachia. Her family's coal miners. They live in a trailer. They like, it is so Appalachia. Her accent is so cute. Oh my God, I'm in love with it already. I freaking adore Ellie. And like, she doesn't feel like a stereotype. She doesn't feel poorly done. I don't feel made fun of at all. And like, that is the hardest thing ever for me to come across in a romance book where our heroine is from Appalachia is I always feel so fucking made fun of because like they make us sound either stupid or like we don't, you know, know our ass from a hole in the ground. Like they just, it's, I'm so thrilled. They have talked about hollers, which if you're not from Appalachia, a holler is, is it's a thing we have. It's like, it's a, so we have our main roads and then we have a holler, which is like a road off from the main road where a bunch of people live. It's not like like a cul-de-sac. I promise, I've been to one of those. It's not like that. Anyway, I just, I'm thrilled. I'm having a great time. They know what a holler is. I'm just, Lothair does say Appalachia. It's incorrect. It's Appalachia. Um, and the narrator has said Appalachia multiple times. He said Appalachia once. He said it correctly one time. I'm not blaming Cressley. 100% blaming the narrator. But I, I love, I love it. I think Cressley Cole is either, she's either been to Appalachia, she knows people from Appalachia, or she lives here. Like, I don't know what the answer is, but this is amazing. Like, I've literally been texting Izzy, like, all my, like, comments and I'm just like I freaking love this book already. They're from Appalachia and they've got it right. This doesn't happen. This doesn't happen. Okay that's all. I'll give you updates as, as we go but I just wanted you all to know it's fantastic. Hi Phoenix is coming over here. That was her. Hello. Hi. I am. Guess, guess what I'm doing. Is anyone gonna be shocked? I'm making pasta salad. Because if I'm not anything, I'm predictable. So I finished Lothair. We're gonna have to talk about it here in a minute. But uh, I'm gonna be on the live show with Izzy and Charles. Can I put you up in here? Oh my God, look, I can put you in my cabinet. I'm gonna be on the live show. Uh, so I'm gonna keep my thoughts as like tamed as possible so you can like go watch it over on Charles's channel. But I absolutely adored this so much. I loved my cabinets open, ignore it. I loved Lothair and I loved Ellie. She was a precious bane. I love how strong willed she was. Oh, there's the next. Needing you to know she's here. Right? See, so yeah, of course, Mom. I loved her. I loved him. I loved everything about them. I loved the gifts. They sent each other. If you've read Love Fair, then you know what I'm talking about. It was so good. It was so good. I'm just, I'm thrilled. I'm really happy about it. I gave it a four star because um, though I really, really enjoyed it, it was a little long. Phoenix sits up. How's it going? It was a little long. Not in like a bad way, but in a, I lost focus a little bit in it, but I enjoyed it a lot. I'm excited to talk about it on the live show. And yeah, I finished Lothair. I'm getting ready to read Credence. I'm gonna try to make my way through that. I did read some of that today. Let's see where I'm at. But I am 24% into Credence. I'm on chapter eight. I have six hours and 33 minutes left of this. So my hope is to get a decent away through this while I wait for the live show tonight. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do. No Ink Master for me. We're not gonna watch it. We might turn it on, like let it play, but we're not watching it. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Why would you think that? She she does not sound Appalachian no. Appalachian enough. Appalachia. You know what? We should all say Appalachia wrong to make sure we really enjoy this Carrie. guest. I think it's Carrie who's special. You think it's Carrie? Yeah. It's totally Carrie. It's Shall totally. we add them? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh my you're goodness. Muted. I'm muted. Why would you say Appalachia that way? That is not how you say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I had to. I had to troll you. Good morning. It's Saturday. I have drank my coffee. I've had breakfast. I've straightened my hair so I don't look like. I just rolled out of the bed. I mean, you can tell because I have like no eyebrows, but it's fine. I am about to go put my contacts in and then do my face so that I can get stuff done today. I have read things. Nice, right? I read Credence. I read like, I think I'm 44% through that now. It's like unput downable. <laughs> like I was reading it last night and I was like, I have to sleep, but this book, I don't know. I I've I've been having a good time with it so far. I have issues with it, specifically like how much Tiernan is just like acting out for like what I feel like is no reason. Like I don't feel like the family is giving her any reason to act out at this point. I mean, they've been a little hard to deal with, but like not to the point of like like he gives her his food after his son like takes all of the food from her and like doesn't give her any. He is like trying to make conversation and she's like, I don't care. And I'm like, ma'am, he's just trying to be nice to you. I don't understand. Like I have cried twice already because I feel so bad for this poor girl because her family just didn't care about her. I'm just, I hate the setup. I hate it. I hate that her family like just unalives themselves. I hate it. I hate that. Um, and I hate that they're so mean to her. I hate it. It's my least favorite thing right now. I hate it because it's making me sad. I don't enjoy that. I also just don't like that premise. Like I wish they could have just like died any other way. I don't know. I just, I guess it really like that idea plays into like her issues, but like whatever. I I don't know. All right, I have to go get my taxes done today, and my sister has prom today, and my cousin's graduating, so I get to watch her walk across the stage because she gets four people to go watch her walk across the stage, and I'm one of them. So I'm gonna go watch her. I'm very excited. She's gonna look so emo. It's gonna be so cute. My cousin is like so emo. It's precious. I love her so good. I'm gonna go finish getting ready and I will report back as I am reading. I don't know if I'm gonna listen to an audiobook. I'm just, I have to film too. So I just, I doubt any reading is gonna happen until I get home time, but it is what it is. <laughs> Maybe I should. Are you? <laughs> In a shocking turn of events, Baby Dumbs did not shut up. She did not watch from afar <laughs> and be quiet. All right, Phoenix and I are here to close the vlog as Baby Tums is in the background. You can't see her. You'll be able to hear her. No <laughs> <laughs> We're here to close the vlog. I ended up finishing Jim Bunny by Brianna Hale on Sunday, which was just a quick novella. It was literally the sequel to Dom Fitness. It's like a BDSM training, like gym, very strange. Dominants are paired with submissives and like there's a romance between two of them. I, it's very straightforward. It's it's a Daddy King novella. What, are, what do we expect? And then I read Credence, which um, I have some thoughts about. <laughs> I sure have some thoughts about that one. Um, this is what I'm going to say because I do plan on doing a full review on Credence. There was way too much trauma in this book for no apparent reason. And this, it, it, it the, the reveal on who she ends up with, because I was on board with the entire thing until she picked one. Like I was on board with her sleeping with all three of them. 
I was on board with the premise. But then it's like she picked one and there was no reasoning behind why she picked the one she did. So um, I'm not going to talk about it too much here just because I, I hated it. I gave it one star. Um, it had a lot of potential in the beginning, but it's just, it just wasn't good. <laughs> it just, it just wasn't good. It wasn't for me. So I will be doing a full review on that in the near future. So look out for that. Uh, because I have a lot of thoughts on the things that I want to say about it. Because it was, um, it was a choice. So I'm going to close the vlog. I will see you all in next week's video. Baby Tomes, give me a, give me an emoji. Chicken. A chicken? Chicken leg. A chicken leg. Is that emoji? I don't know. We're going to find out. Give us a chicken or a chicken leg from Baby Tomes. That's mm -hmm. the emoji. Put it down in the comments. Yeah. Yeah? You? Yeah. You? Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs>